Hello students, today we're going to look at some more surface area, but we're going to talk about triangular prisms today. Triangular prisms, remember, have two triangles connected by rectangles, and the shape of the base of a triangular prism is always a triangle. That's very, very important to remember. The name triangular prism means that the shape of the base is a triangle. So let's draw a triangular prism. So I'm going to draw a triangle, and I'm going to draw another triangle over here, and I'm going to connect them. Okay, so, and we're going to add in a few dimensions here. I know that this is going to be 4. The height of the triangle right here is going to be 3. The side of the triangle is going to be 5, and it's going to be 10 centimeters long. Okay, so now we're going to look at our formula, and we're going to plug in, look at the formula that we use, and we're going to use the formula to plug in our numbers to find the surface area of this thing. Remember there are two types of surface area, lateral area and total surface area, so we're going to look at both of those. If you'll remember, lateral is capital PH and surface area is capital PH plus 2B. Capital P, you remember, is the perimeter of the base. And Again, I'm going to stress to you how important it is to know that the base of a triangular prism is a triangle. So first thing that I've taught you to do and asked you to do is to highlight the base. So I'm going to highlight the base. And whatever's in red is the base. So when I do capital P, that's finding the perimeter of the base, and the base is the triangle. So I need to find the perimeter of that triangle, and that would be... 5 plus 5 plus 4. So now that I have the perimeter, I need to find the height. But this H is the height of the entire prism. Okay, That H is the height of the entire prism. And the height of a prism is the distance between the two bases. Okay, So this H is going to be 10. Because the distance between the two triangles is 10. So that's what that H stands for. This P is the perimeter of the base but the H is the height of the entire prism. So I have 5 plus 5 plus 4, which is 14 times 10, which is 140. So my lateral area equals 140. Now let's find that lateral area. And what are we talking about the lateral area? The lateral area is all of the rectangles. Because remember, the lateral area is the surface area without the two bases. So this does not include the areas of the triangles. So we need to go to the surface area, the total surface area, and find out what the total is. So we're going to do pH plus 2B, which would be 2 times the area of the bases. So I'm going to plug in what I already know, which is 140 plus 2 times the area of the triangles. And I need to move the camera just a tad to get all this in there. Now you'll remember that we've looked at the area of triangles, and there's two different formulas that we can use. I'm going to choose to use the one that says B times H over 2. You could do 1 half BH. Either one works. I'll, I'll probably do both to show you. So 140 plus 2 times, now this B and this H and that 2 are all of the triangle. Okay? This is the capital B, which is the area of the base, which is a triangle. So I need to look at the triangle. The base of the triangle is 4. And the height of the triangle is 3. So that's going to be 4 times 3 over 2. So we have 140 plus 2 times 6, because 4 times 3 is 12 divided by 2 is 6. So 140 plus 12 is 152. So the total surface area equals 152. So let's look at another example. And this example is going to have a right triangle as the base for the uh, triangular prism. So I'm going to draw a right triangle, and then I'm going to another, draw another right triangle over here, and I'm going to connect them. Okay, so there's my right triangle, and here's the right angle right there, and there's a the right angle right there. And let's now measure or label our measurements. Okay, so this one is going to be um, 6, and this side is going to be 8, 
and this side's going to be 10. And the uh, height of the whole prism is going to be, um, we'll say 20. Okay? So again, we need to find the lateral area and the surface area for this triangular prism. So the lateral area is capital P H, and the surface area is capital P H plus 2B. So let's plug in our numbers. Capital P stands for perimeter of the base. So I look at my triangle and find the perimeter. So the perimeter, the sides of the triangle are 6, 8, and 10. So 6 plus 8 plus 10. And the height of the prism, the entire structure, is 20. So let's solve that. 6 plus 8 is 14, plus 10 is 24. And 24 times 20 is 480. So we know that the lateral area is 480. Okay? So now I'm going to plug that in. Whoops. That should be a 480 plus 2B. And you remember B is B times H over 2, or 1 half VH. So we have 480 plus 2 times B times H over 2. And that's 480 plus 2. And we're, now we're looking at just the triangle. What are the base and the height of the triangle? You'll remember from years past or even a long time ago, I don't know, that the base and the height of a triangle are always formed by the right angle. B. So wherever the right angle is, that's your base and your height. Base, height. Base, height, when you have a right angle. So the base is 6, and the height is 8. And we're dividing that by 2. And you know, I can just plug this straight into my calculator. I've been doing all these calculations in my head. But once you have this written down, plug it into the calculator. Once I have this written down, I'm going to plug this into the calculator just like I see it with parentheses and everything. I'm just doing it in my head because I'm on TV or on video doing it. This is 480 plus 6 times 8 is 48. And 48 divided by 2 is 24. And 24 times 2 is 48. So this would be 48. So the total surface area is 480 plus 48, which would be 528. So the total surface area for this triangular prism is 528. Now I just want to go quickly over the formula one more time. Capital PH plus 2B. Capital P is the perimeter of the base. This H is the height of the entire prism plus 2B. The B is a triangle, so it's B times H over 2 of just the triangle. Now that's a lot to get into your head. The formula's on your formula chart. We'll practice a lot of it in class, but your practice problem's coming up next. And here's your practice problem. I just changed all of the measurements on that last triangle that we did. Here's the triangle, your triangular prism, and with the new measurements, and what I forgot to do on that last example problem was to highlight the triangle. So make sure you highlight the triangle on this one so that you can know what you're supposed to add up and all that kind of stuff when you find the capital P. So here's your practice problem. Once you've found the lateral area and the surface area, take a picture, turn it into Edmodo, and we'll see you later.